Through just four games this season, Michigan's Jake Butt on the cusp of eclipsing his career bests in terms of both single-season receptions and receiving yards. The Michigan tight end joining us now on BTN Live. Jake, let's start with preseason expectations. There were so many for you guys and Coach Harbaugh, so how does the 3-1 and one start live up to your own preseason expectations? I, you know, I think it's a good start, and I think we've come a long way from where we were at the start of camp and even at the start of week one and even last week. We've just continued to come in with a worker mentality every single day, and we've just taken that mentality, and it's really improved us as a team. Struggled running in week one. Last three weeks, you've averaged 245 rush yards per game. How much does that speak to the identity of this team? Yeah, I think... Uh, Everybody knew once we brought in this coaching staff that we were going to try to run the ball and we are going to find ways to run the ball. So uh, that's definitely been a point of emphasis these past few weeks. And we've made sure, you know, in practice we're practicing hard, practicing full pads as much as possible, trying to hit as much as possible to make sure on Saturday, you know, we're going to be able to go out there and execute. Talking with Michigan tight end Jake Butt here on BTN Live. Jake, what is the role of the tight end in this offense? I mean, it's, it's a huge role. I mean... We're having, I think we're the, we have the most tight ends and fullbacks on the field at any given time in the country right now, statistically. Uh, there can be two tight ends and a fullback, three tight ends. We had some four tight end sets uh, back there week one versus Utah. So, you know, whether it's blocking for, on the line or in the backfield or catching passes, the tight ends are just a huge part of this offense. Jake, what did it feel like to get such an impressive win over a top 25 team, as you were telling me before we began the interview? It's been a while since you were able to enjoy that kind of victory. Oh, it felt great. And uh, it always feels great when you just come in, you work hard. We, we practiced so hard all week. Guys were spending extra hours studying film. Uh, we knew it was going to be a big game against a tough team. And, you know, we just went out there and executed. And that, that's really something that we haven't been able to do in years past. And it just felt good to finally get it done. Jake, I'm going to ask for your perspective on two different items from this past weekend. First, your viewpoint and reaction to the Amara Darbo catch. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I kind of went in motion out there, and uh, I was just running like a decoy go route. And I turned around, and I saw Darbo catch that. And I was, I, the first thing I thought was, oh, my God, that looked like Odell Beckham. But, uh, you know, it really doesn't surprise me too much. Darbo has some of the strongest hands I've ever seen. He's been making catches like that since... Uh, since I got here, so, you know, you know, sometimes it just takes kind of a little bit of a crazy ball for him to put those hands on display. What about the other side of the ball? What's it like for an offensive player to watch his defense pitch a shutout? Oh, my gosh, that, that was just unbelievable. They put on a clinic out there. It felt like uh, every time BYU had the ball, they were going three and out, and we were getting another chance to uh, go out there and do something on offense. So it's always great when you're seeing the guys around you succeed and you know the defense works real hard too I think we got one of the top defenses in the country right now and they're really putting that on display a few more questions here with Michigan tight end Jake Butt on BTN live you have Maryland on the road this weekend primetime game you can see right here on BTN how much does last year's loss at home to the Terps serve as motivation uh, you know I, I, I don't think we're too caught up in any of that right now I think we're just caught up in trying to be the best team that we can be this week uh, it's going to be a tough game going on the road versus Maryland. Uh, going to be a hostile environment, night game, prime time, like you said. So, you know, we're just back to work today, uh, getting in, watching the film, going to have a tough week of practice, and then try to go out and repeat and get another win this Saturday. Finally, Jake, you have a great sense of humor regarding your last name. Your Twitter handle is jbooty88. And this past weekend, you posted a classic picture on Twitter of various kinds of butts. Do you ever foresee an end to the butt jokes? I don't, and I hope they don't ever end. I, I, I honestly love them. And that, w that was actually, I have a bigger picture I might put out this week. That's, that's five of them. I have another picture that I, unfortunately, I didn't tweet out with about 15 other family members. I mean, I just got such a great support system, and they all have as much as fun as uh, we do or the next person does with our last name. So it's always a great time when you can make fun of yourself a little bit. The ultimate butt pick coming courtesy of Michigan tight end Jake Butt. Jake, truly appreciate the time. Best of luck the rest of the year. Thank you. Thanks for having me.